you cannot extend your life necessarily by maximizing your socializing, right? The way I view it and what the data seems to suggest is that everybody should try to identify what their kind of ideal social diet is. I use this term social diet in the book of like what we're, what we're taking in, right? Mm-hmm. And so for me, I'm very extroverted. My social diet might look like, you know, a, a two hour helping of social interaction three times a week. <laughs> and that's where I feel best. And if I exceed that, then I start to feel a little bit overwhelmed and I just really want to like hang out on the couch, right? And that's perfectly okay at any level. If you get to the point where you're oversaturated, it's perfectly okay to withdraw. But, and I, and I use the analogy of like a plant, right? So you have a plant that needs to be watered, right? The socializing is the, is the watering. You can overwater a plant and that's bad, but the, the soil will dry up and then the plant will be okay, right? So that's, that's kind of when you withdraw, you're kind of receding a bit from that interaction. You're taking a break from your social diet. That's fine. But when you underwater a plant, it can legitimately die, right? If, you, if it's always dried out, it can, it can be bad for the plant. And so what I worry about is that human beings are really good at sensing when we're overwatered, when we've had way too much interaction. It's very clear. I just, I want to get out of here. I want to be alone. Right. We're not so good at understanding and recognizing I haven't had enough interaction because when we start to feel off, there's so many other culprits, right? It's, oh, I'm stressed about work. I didn't get a good night of sleep. You know, I haven't really eaten today. There's so many things you can say about why you're not feeling well that we often don't realize that the plan needs to be watered. And so what I want people to do and what my kind of message is, is not to like socialize every single day, but to make sure you're not bottoming out. Because when we bottom out and we're just, you know, going extended periods without connecting, it's, it's bad for us in, in many ways, not just our mood, but in our overall health. And, um, and it's also easy to get stuck into a loop where there's evidence that the more isolated you are, there's, you can actually struggle with things like, like social reward. Like when you do reemerge and have a social interaction, you may not feel quite as, you know, positive feelings from it. You may struggle with things like trust. You may pay more attention to negative social signals. There's all sorts of reasons why when you are very isolated, you may remain isolated. And so I, I, what I worry about is that people, especially right now when we're very polarized and we're very divided and there's all sorts of horrible things going wrong every day, that we are not connecting with our community. And that's probably exacerbating the way we're feeling about the world. And so, <laughs> you know, I, I want us to I want to remind everybody to connect and to think about connection and socializing, not just as like one little branch of your life that you do on Fridays just because you're bored if you don't do it, but that it's actually something that matters for your health, just like eating or sleeping or exercise or anything like that is.